Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I will show you how to install Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC on your Mac. This lets you run Windows and even bypass iCloud. If you want a different version of Windows, just skip the next part. Let's get started by creating a bootable USB flash drive. To download Windows 10 LTSC, open your browser and search for download Windows 10 LTSC. Then hit enter. Click on the official Microsoft website and select the version that suits you best. For this installation, I recommend choosing the Enterprise 64-bit English UK edition. So select your preferred edition and wait for the installation file to download. Next open the Rufus program, insert your USB flash drive and select the downloaded installation file. Select the partition scheme as GPT and large FAT32 option on the file system category. Then hit start and OK. Wait 10-15 minutes for the process to complete. Now back to the MacBook, insert the bootable USB flash drive and plug in your charger. To access the USB flash drive, hold the LAT key while powering on your MacBook from a shutdown state. Click on the EFI boot and wait. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, now is the perfect time to join us. By subscribing, you will get access to step-by-step -step repair guides, unboxing videos and useful DIY tips to save money and improve your skills. Your support means the world to us and it helps us keep creating content just for you. So hit that subscribe button, check out our other videos and let's make your DIY journey even better. Thank you for being here. Click next and then install now and wait for the next window to appear. If you followed the same steps, a window should now display two versions of Windows. The Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC includes all standard media features such as Windows Media Player, Microsoft Movies and other media components. In contrast, the N edition does not include these features. Now a list of partitions from the old macOS installation will appear. It's best to delete all of them and create a new partition for maximum compatibility. Select the primary partition, click Next and wait for the installation to complete. Mm -hmm. 
once the installation is complete, adjust the settings to your preference. You might notice that the sound and wireless drivers aren't working. Don't worry, we will install them once Windows is fully set up. Now we need to download and install Bootcamp, a program that includes all the necessary MacBook drivers for maximum compatibility with Windows OS. Click the link in the description below to download the Bootcamp version compatible with your MacBook model. I'm using in the video a MacBook Air Early 2015, model A1466. Download the correct file and once it's finished, transfer it back to the MacBook using the same USB flash drive. Now insert the USB flash drive with saved files into your MacBook, locate the bootcamp folder and run it. It might take 10-15 minutes again. And the last thing your MacBook needs is a restart. So then you can enjoy a Windows 10 experience on your MacBook. If you install the Windows 10 LTSC version like I did and want to upgrade to a full edition, check the description below for a link to another video that guides you through the process step by step. I hope this video helped you install Windows OS on your MacBook. If you did, please like, share and leave a comment if you need any help. Thanks and see you in the next video.